Welcome back to Crypto Fitness. I'm Jay. All right, so clearly markets are down. Sentiment is bearish. Now, personally, this makes me very, very bullish. Why? Because you can get rich in bull runs, but you get wealthy in bear runs. That's when you make the most gains. By far, the best strategy is just a dollar cost average into the market. I'm excited for a bear market. We've seen Bitcoin dip 90% in several cycles. Now, I'm not trying to spread FUD, nor am I saying that X is going to dip 95%, but it's important to look at the upside and also the downside risks. If we assume that Hex goes down 95% in a bear run, we can be prepared for the worst case scenario. Regardless of what happens geopolitically, regardless of what happens with traditional markets and regardless of what happens with Bitcoin. If we know the downside risks, we can prepare accordingly. So you can see that Hex has dipped approximately 78% from its all-time high at 50 cents. Again, I'm not saying that this is going to play out. I'm not saying that we're going to go down 95% and Hex is going to go down to a penny. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying let's prepare for the worst case scenario in case it does happen. And that way we can plan accordingly. We can start dollar cost averaging in and be patient if it does go down more. What would a 95% correction in going into a bear market look like for hex? That would give us approximately two cent hex. The way you make money is you buy in the red and you sell in the green. And to be honest, I've been actually hoping for a bear market so that I have more of an opportunity to make longer term gains. That's what crypto is. It's a long term play. It's a long term game. If you're not in it for the long term, then you're in it for the wrong reasons. Now, I'm only bringing this up because this is what the technicals are showing. From this massive trend line we've held this trend line as support for quite some time. We've got a touch there, several touches here, and most recently we had a touch here, but now we are actually breaking down from that trend line. This has been major support in a long time for Hex dating back to November of 2020. That doesn't mean it's going to go down 95%, but it does mean that we're breaking a very strong support line and we could trade sideways and it's also possible that we do go down. Now take a look at something else. We've got the 786, the macro 786 fib level at 10 cents the 618 is up here at about 18 cents and we've been trading sideways in this fibonacci level for quite some time now this could hold we could hold at the 10 cent level and go back up maybe it doesn't even break it at all look at how fast we went from two cents one cent all the way up to the all-time high there's really nothing it just went pretty much straight up so if we do in fact break this level of support there's not going to be a really a whole lot macro scale we're indeed in a bear market to really Really hold the price up until around the two cent mark, which would also be confluent with the 95% correction that we would typically see in altcoins going through bear markets. A lot of altcoins bleed anywhere from 90 to 99% in a bear market. And Richard Hart's been ranting and raving that we've, we've been in a bear market for quite some time. So if that is indeed the case, then we need to actually take a look and be serious about what the downside potential risks are. And again, to me, this is bullish because these are the best times to buy. How many of you would kill to go back here into November of 2020 and buy hex at less than a penny well if we indeed do break this level of support and if we indeed are in a bear market and we indeed go down 95 percent again these are all ifs these are if statements if this happens then what will you do will you dollar cost average more or are you going to get fudded out and sell the bottoms because you're afraid of losing your money to be honest now i've already been dollar cost averaging in i bought in at 14 cents the price has gone down a little bit more and i'll continue to dollar cost average in especially if you stake your hex over the long term, that tends to be the best strategy. You can get paid up to 40% APY to hold hex. What other cryptocurrency can you do that with? You can't do that with Bitcoin. You can't do that with Ethereum. Now, again, these are if statements. I'm not saying that this is for sure going to happen. I'm not saying that we're for sure going to get a 95% correction. Maybe we hold the line here. Maybe we hold the line and we start going up. I'm just showing you what we see on the technical side of things. And technically, the fact is that we have broken this massive trend line that's held support for over a year. We've broken that. It's clear. We, we have weekly candles that have closed below that mark. And now we're holding this Fibonacci level. This is the S&P 500. We can't lie. The technicals don't look great for the main indexes in the traditional stock market. And if we have another crisis like the 2008 crash, I'm looking at these price charts. And if we do anything similar to the 2008 crash, it would look something like this. We're, we're actually following the trajectory currently. You can see right now we're making lower lows in the S&P 500. We've made a high. We've made 
made a low we bounced up and you can clearly see we're in this downtrend and now we're making lower lows and it looks like we're about to make a new lower low now maybe we hold the line here if we look at the the nasdaq nasdaq looks very overextended and you can see we're pretty much following the trajectory this is the 2008 crash we were in this channel for quite some time in the nasdaq all the way stemming back from september of 2020 we were in this rising channel and now we've broken down out of that rising channel maybe it follows this to a t and if that's the case then there's bloody times to come and if the traditional markets go down do i need to tell you that crypto markets are also going to go down as well now again this isn't to spread fud this isn't to scare you this is just to show you the downside risk and the patience level that you really need to have in crypto dollar cost average is a great strategy because you never have to worry you're always buying the dip it seems to be there's a common theme in a lot of these traditional markets if we go look at the dow we, we get something similar in the dow jones another broadening rising channel since may of 2021 we bounced we made a high a low a higher high a higher low and then a higher high and then we broke down we made a low bounce back up and now we're making lower lows it's going lower than what the 2008 financial crisis did back in the day and if that's the case i mean obviously it can go up and down but ultimately anything could trigger a mass panic event in the geopolitical landscape fundamentally there could be anything that, that disrupts this that could make it go down and if that's the case crypto is going to go down with it and not only crypto but also hex whether we like it or not hex is an altcoin altcoins tend to bleed more in bear markets than does bitcoin that's just the fact of the reality you can argue that hex is decorrelated from bitcoin all you want and there are plenty of cases where that is actually the case bear markets can be different beasts altogether now we can see something similar with the the new york stock exchange look now making lower lows we were trading in a range for quite some time and now we are making lower lows look at these broadening wedges you can see that we've had also some resistance in these areas as well stemming back from april 2015 we we touched it there and we've been hovering here for quite some time since about April of 2021. So since we're at the top of this range, is it more likely that we continue hovering and hugging the top of this range? Or is it more likely for downside? To me, it's pretty obvious that there's more risk for downside. There's more room for downside in this scenario. Could it bounce here and, and come up here higher and then maybe come down later? Yeah, it could. And maybe we don't even come down at all. Maybe we, we only come down to the 200 EMA or something. But all I'm pointing out here is that there does seem to be some overextension in the traditional market. We can also look at the US dollar and look, it's in a steep uptrend. We've got money flow in the red now coming up into the green. What does that tell you? The dollar is gaining strength. That means that people are moving money from traditional markets, from real estate. They're moving their money into cash positions in case something happens so that they can buy the dip. Typically, we've seen in the past that when the dollar goes up, cryptocurrency markets don't tend to do as well. The dollar goes down. That's typically when we see bull runs. Also, US government bonds, you can see they're green today, clearly in an uptrend. It broke out of its 200 EMA and now it looks like it's retesting and looks like it could be in a, in a bigger uptrend. Doesn't mean that we're going to see a 95% correction. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that we need to look at the downside risks. Again, I can't stress this enough because I know a lot of people are going to misconstrue what I'm saying here that I'm actually saying we're going to get a 95% correction and to run for the hills and sell all your bags. No, that's not what I'm saying. The people that make the most money are the long-term investors, the long-term holders. And if you can get paid through hex to hold your bags, I see it as a win-win. How can I accumulate accumulate more hex. And if I can accumulate more hex in the bear market, if it goes down to let's say three cents, two cents, one cent, that's fantastic. It's a great opportunity for me. Not to mention if Pulse Chain launches in a bear market as well, who knows? I mean, it could be a catalyst to see some massive gains in the future. So ultimately people just are afraid. There's lots of fear in the market, but if you can just have a strategy and stick to it, dollar cost average in and just forget about it, eventually one day you can come back because crypto has proven to go up with time. I get bullish when things get bloody. I get bearish when things get too euphoric. And no matter what Hex does, if it goes down lower, I just see it as a fantastic opportunity to buy more. I'm hoping the 10 cent level holds. It very well may could. And if it does, fantastic. I bought the dip at a pretty damn good price. If it goes down lower, I'll just buy more. Because like I said in my previous videos, if you hold any liquid Hex or you hold any staked Hex, you're going to get copies of all that on the Pulse Chain whenever the Pulse Chain does end up launching. No expectations of profit from the work of others, of course. But at some point in the future, it's likely that we do see Pulse Chain come out. And when that happens, you will get copies of all this accumulated hex on the Pulse Chain, essentially doubling your coins, doubling your stakes, doubling your T-shares. And that's what this game is about. How many T-shares can you get or B-shares can you get? How many more coins can you accumulate? That is the game. And you can win the, the game no matter what the markets do, no matter what the geopolitical landscape does, you can win by having a set strategy and set profit-taking strategy going into it before you get involved. And speaking of taking profit strategy,
strategies. If you want to learn the most optimized profit taking strategy that also ensures that you're consistently dollar cost averaging at the same time, basically creating your own money engine, then go ahead and check out this video here where I show you how to turn $100 into almost $3 million with a hex ladder snowball. However, if you're brand new to crypto, if this is your first video watching about hex, about crypto, or if you're just newer in general, then you need to make sure that you're protecting your crypto the right way to begin with. Holding your crypto on an exchange is the worst thing you can do. Holding it simply in a hot wallet is the second worst thing you can do. And if you want to learn how to secure your crypto so that you don't get rinsed, then check out this video right here where I show you the best strategy to protect your crypto assets. And of course, if you'd like to support the crypto fitness channel, you can mint a beast bro NFT or tip any amount of hex, Cardano, Ethereum, Bitcoin, or USD. The links are down in the description. That said, I'm out. Stay savage.